This year, it's the 100th construction season for Cold Spring Construction. Well, my earliest memories are all going with my father when from the time I was five and up to the jobs. And of course, the favorite part of that was the lunch that my mother packed because she was a good cook and, and I was always ready for lunch. I learned on the job and, and well, I didn't intend to learn on the job, it just as I was there with, with him. An appreciation for the work that Cold Spring Construction does has been passed on from one generation to the next. Dad took me on so many early jobs. I don't know that I can remember a specific Cold Spring job when I was a little kid. I was with him a lot. I, I remember when they built the St. Lawrence Seaway in the, oh, I don't know, maybe 54, 1955, so I was four or five years old. He took me up there and we watched this gigantic drag line dragging out. It's a big excavation for the St. Lawrence Seaway. And you know, just there were, oh, you know, every job we got to from early, my earliest memories were visiting jobs with my dad. And perhaps what makes a century of construction possible is the knowledge of how it was done and how best to move into the future. You see now, when going way back when Cold Spring started, all of the dirt was loaded by hand. See, a guy can, a guy can pick and shovel 10 yards in a day per man. That's the, that's the production that my dad strove for and did do. To pick in the ground, shovel and load in a wagon 10 yards in 10 hours. We was a lock level. I mean, I was brought up, you know, with an eye level that you used it for checking grade. Well, I, the people today don't even know what those are, naturally. It's a combination of continuing the things that have led to our success through our history in terms of our philosophies about the way we go about work and, and how hard we work and our philosophies about the way we treat people. But I think we also need to embrace some, some new things and a lot of that is technology. Using the technology to advance the things that we've historically been good at. And I think that's something that we've, we've made some real steps in and will continue to push forward. It's more than just the Forestells that make Cold Spring a family business. When we talk family here, we don't talk, you know, blood relationships, the whole, we consider the employees are part of the family. It's a family business and we have a lot of, I guess we kind of champion nepotism. We've got a lot of husbands and wives and sons and daughters working and we try to treat everybody as part of the family. And I think it's worked out very well, helped us make it to 100 years and and if we can keep this going, we'll, we'll get another hundred in. Considering everything, maybe it took a little bit of something extra for Cold Spring to get this far. We know a hundred years is, is, is a century and it's a long time and there are almost no companies that have ever done it. Well, it sounds trite, but it, it, it takes dedication. You have to really be interested in it. I think that's true of anything in life. You really got to be interested in what you're doing and you got to love to do it. And my dad did, and I did, and my, my boys do too. They live it, and, and they love it. It's, it's wonderful to love to, to go to work every morning. The end of the first century for Cold Spring Construction is a perfect example of the kind of work they've been good at for 100 years. In 2008, Cold Spring completed the first mile of future Interstate 99 in New York State. Located right at the Pennsylvania border in Steuben County, the present alignment of US-15 is being significantly altered. Major earth moving is needed to accommodate a new embankment and new roadway. This multi-staged project will eventually be a four-lane highway that will provide roadway system continuity with other improvements from Williamsport to Courting, New York. Cold Spring is currently working on the second stage of the Route 15 I-99 projects, a major earthwork and paving project from Watson Creek Road to the existing pre-show interchange. I got a super team here, a mixture of, of 
older seasoned guys and some real young, bright guys, okay? And everybody works together. I, we just got a super team of people right here. This project is scheduled for substantial completion in the fall of 2011. Fire in the hole! The all new Route 219 extension was a four year project for Cold Spring. Work began in 2007 and was completed this past fall. This is part of an ongoing New York State Department of Transportation effort that will eventually include 12 sections. This is the fifth of the 12. It begins at Route 39 in Springville and ends at Peters Road in the town of Ashford. Many of the original design specifications set down years ago for this extension had to be changed. Many unforeseen issues had to be addressed and corrected before this roadway could be open to the public. One, two, three. <laughs> well, I'm immensely proud of our people for the job that they have done here. And you know the thing that impresses me most and, and sat is most satisfactory, this is built without claims. There are no claims on this job. This is, job was built not as this is not as it was a design. It's a, it's a totally redesigned job on, on the fly because uh, there were so many seemingly insurmountable problems, but they were all solved here. With the spirit of Cold Spring, with the spirit and the cooperation of our own people, uh, incredible amounts of dedication and professionalism and got this product done and it done very, very, very well. The Parkview Drive Bridge, seen here during redecking, was a unique project for Cold Spring. The bridge was constructed by the Works Project Administration during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Its unique design and time of construction has made it eligible for inclusion on the Registry of Historic Structures. The bridge had deteriorated to a point where it was no longer safe. Many alternatives were considered, but it was determined to rebuild the bridge, being very faithful to its original design. While not the kind of project Cold Spring usually takes on, the project was completed with meticulous attention to detail, preserving this Akron community icon for many years. In this 100th year of work, Cold Spring completed the Parkview Drive Bridge, which was a modest project and has undertaken the largest job to date. The complete reconstruction of 15 miles of the New York State Thruway between exits 39 and 40 near Syracuse and Weedsport, New York. The throughway was completed in its present form over 50 years ago, and much of it needs not just repair, but total rebuild. Thousands of vehicles use the throughway daily, and all this work has to be done with minimal impact to the constant flow of traffic. Done in roughly five mile sections, work on the final portion has begun and will be completed this October. New innovations will include traffic monitoring cameras, vehicle count, and truckload sensors that will ensure this roadway remains safe for public use for at least another 50 years. To say I have, you know, big shoes to fill is an understatement, I think. Because of the efforts of everyone at Cold Spring over these many years, Cold Spring construction is very well prepared for the next 100 years. I look back and I think of the sacrifices that my great-grandfather and my grandfather and my uncles have made and all the hard work that they've put in, which I've benefited from. And yeah, there's a lot of pressure that you have to face, but I think when you look at, when you look back and think of all the other people who have worked so hard in the past, I think that gives you that much more motivation to show up every day and you know, keep going. I want to be able to say that we have done well the, that we've built a, a beautiful product, but in addition to that, I, I want to say that the company is in terrific shape to weather any storms that, that are coming in the, in the near future. I want to say that we've set this up for the long term. I, I, I don't look at myself as, as, a, as owning stock here. I look at it as I'm a steward of the stock. That, that, I, that I'm going to hold it while I'm here. This is not an end. This is just a process. I'm just, I'm just a cog in the wheel on the way. Throughout New York State, Cold Spring Construction is very proud of work done well and looks forward to more that will be done for many years to come.
well, obviously it's a celebration of the fact that not very many companies make it to 100 years. This is a pretty big deal, but it's also saying thank you to our employees and their families and our friends and competitors with some other contractors there that, uh, you know, that, that have helped us and we've helped them over the decades. And it's just, it's, it's a way to say thanks and, and celebration at the same time.